And the weaver said, Speak to us of clothes. And he answered, Your clothes conceal much of your beauty, yet they hide not the unbeautiful. And though you seek in garments the freedom of privacy, you may find in them a harness and a chain. Would that you could meet the sun and the wind with more of your skin and less of your raiment. For the breath of life is in the sunlight, and the hand of life is in the wind. Some of you say, It is the north wind who has woven the clothes we wear. And I say, Aye, it was the north wind, but shame was his loom, and the softening of the sinews was his thread. And when his work was done, he laughed in the forest. Forget not that modesty is for a shield against the eye of the unclean. And when the unclean shall be no more, what were modesty but a fetter and a fouling of the mind? And forget not that the earth delights to feel your bare feet, and the winds long to play with your hair. And the merchant said, Speak to us of buying and selling. And he answered and said, To you the earth yields her fruit, and you shall not want if you but know how to fill your hands. It is in exchanging the gifts of the earth that you shall find abundance and be satisfied. Yet, unless the exchange be in love and kindly justice, it will but lead some to greed and others to hunger. When in the marketplace you toilers of the sea and fields and vineyards meet the weavers and the potters and the gatherers of spices, Invoke then the master spirit of the earth to come into your midst and sanctify the scales and the reckoning that weighs value against value. And suffer not the barren handed to take part in your transactions who would sell their words for your labor. To such men you should say, Come with us to the field or go with our brothers to the sea and cast your net. For the land and the sea shall be bountiful to you, even as to us. And if there come the singers and the dancers and the flute players, buy of their gifts also. For they too are gatherers of fruit and frankincense, and that which they bring, though fashioned of dreams, is raiment and food for your soul. And before you leave the marketplace, See that no one has gone his way with empty hands. For the master spirit of the earth shall not sleep peacefully upon the wind till the needs of the least of you are satisfied. <laughs>